Let's sketch the graph of the rational function. Okay, let's start off with the asymptotes that we've already found. x equals negative 1 and y equals 3. And then we're going to plot the intercepts. And then we're going to try to go from there. We'll probably need test points. Usually you need two test points for every vertical asymptote. Uh, but we'll worry about that as we go. All right, so vertical asymptotes. X equals negative 1. So at negative 1, uh, we'll pretend like I did that well. Okay, and then at y equals 3, we'll just say that 3 is going to be right there. Okay, so something like that. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's plot our intercepts. 1, 2, negative 3. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, rough sketch, good enough. Okay, remember this one did not have any holes in the graph, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, so now let's find our test points. Although, again, they're kind of unnecessary with this one. Because remember, our graph has to either be up here or down here, and obviously it cannot be up here if it has to pass through this point. And it has to be either here or here, and it can't be down here if it has to pass through this point. Okay, so we're kind of limited on our options, but let's do the test points anyway, okay, just for practice. So negative 1 is where the vertical asymptote is located, which means I need a number close to negative 1, but to the right of negative 1, which would be negative 0 0.9. And I need a number to the left of negative 1, but close, which would be negative 1.1. And I'm picking these numbers because they're relatively easy to work with, but they are not um, too far away. Okay, If I plugged in, say, negative 2, Right, that's a little bit of ways away, and it may it won't give me an a as accurate read on the graph. Okay, so negative one point one is better. All right, so let's plug these in. You see the function for that. So f of negative one point one, and then go ahead and write it all out so I can just fill in the blanks. Negative one point one. Matter of fact, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Feeling extra lazy today. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to bring that down here so I can work it out again in a moment with the other number. Okay. So negative 1.1. That's going to be negative 3.3 plus 9, which is uh, 5.7 over negative 0 0.1. And if I divide 5.7 by negative 0.1, I get negative 57. So my first test point is negative 1.1 comma negative 57. All right, that is way down, right? So let's see, negative 1.1 would be right here. It's actually probably where I drew my actual vertical asymptote, but we won't talk about that. Okay, and then negative 57 is so far down here that, you know, whatever, it's way down there. So yeah, the left side of the graph has to do something along the lines of stay bounded along this line, cut through, and then drop down. Okay. Now the right side of the vertical asymptote, I'll plug in negative 0.9. Okay, so 3 times negative 0.9 uh, plus 9 is going to be 6.3. And negative 0.9 plus 1 is just positive 0 0.1. 
and 63 divided by 0.1 is, I'm sorry, 6.3 divided by 0.1 is going to be a positive 63. So that's my second test point, negative 0 0.9, positive 63. Negative 0 0.9, positive 63. Okay, so that's going to be, here's negative 0.9 about, and 63 is going to be way up here somewhere. Don't have to draw that exactly accurate. It's okay. So I know my graph has got to come down. Again, it has to stay along this line, right? It can't pass that. It's going to come down. Hit these points on its way to then level out. Okay. And I just have a lot of trouble apparently hitting my intercepts. So I will make that point bigger and pretend like I hit it the first time. All right. So there's my ugly yet semi-accurate uh, sketch of the graph of the rational function.